Down, and I'm back with another figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Movie Maniacs. This here is, uh, this is Series 5. Today we're going to be taking a look at Jason Voorhees as he appeared in the movie Jason X, which I am not a fan of. I, you know, I did see the movie, saw it on Netflix a while ago, and, I mean, it wasn't a good movie. I, I mean, everybody has their opinions. I didn't like the movie, but I like the character. I like how the figure looked in the movie, or the character looked in the movie. Um, so this is a figure I've been wanting for quite a while, and it's been pretty pricey. I mean, you can you can run across this figure. It can go from like forty to fifty to even sixty dollars for this figure. I managed to win him on eBay uh, for I believe it was like twenty two shipped. I think so. Really happy that I got to pick this up. Because uh, I was actually going to pick this up at Fat Collectibles, and they were asking for I think forty-five. So good thing I ended up <clears throat> waiting and uh, uh, winning on eBay. So take a looking, take a looking, take a looking, <laughs> taking a look at the packaging here. Uh, let's see. So there's a nice picture there of uh, Jason X. You can see this movie Maniacs. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there's a logo. McFarland Toys, of course. Uh, if you look on the side. It's just, you know, pictures of Jason X. Nothing really special. Uh, here's the back of the packaging. Here's the other figures from the series. There's Lord of Darkness. I, I do have that figure. Really nice. Um, there's the endoskeleton from uh, Terminator 2. Sarah Connor, which I do want to pick up. And uh, Tooth Fairy and Wishmaster. There's a picture of Jason X right there, or Jason Voorhees. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and uh, take this figure outside of packaging, and we'll take a closer look at Jason X. Stay tuned. All right, so here we have Jason X outside of the packaging. This is a pretty nice uh, looking figure. Um, you can already tell that the articulation is going to be limited. Uh, the only accessories he really does come with here is the um, little knife or blade that he has there and uh, that little poster that you get from all the McFarlane Movie Maniac figures, which is pretty cool to have, I guess. But the figure looks really nice. Um, let's go ahead and, and, and take a, a closer look at the actual figure himself. Okay, so here we have Jason X. Here's a closer look at the figure. First things first, the display or a little poster, movie poster of the figure by Movie Maniacs. You can see here, made out of uh, bones and whatnot. So this is a thing that all the uh, Movie Maniac figures come with. Poster is actually pretty nice. So it's Jason X. Move that aside. Get a close look at the figure himself. So he does come with this little like knife or blade whatever you want to call it, machete, which is actually, um, I do like the paint on this, it's really nice. It's not sharp at all. Well, it's actually a little sharp, kind of bendy. Yeah, it's actually pretty sharp. It does fit in his hand perfectly, just slide that right in. We'll take that off for now. We'll get a close look at the actual figure. I do like the head sculpt on this guy. I, do, I like the look of the character. The mask is really nice. Let's see the top of his head here. Detailing is great. Really cool. Um, from, from what I remember of this movie, I think he's half cyborg. Don't remember too much. Kind of fell asleep watching it on Netflix. But he, but I do like the look of this uh, Jason. I think the look looks really, really nice. And uh, there's not much, there's not much else to the figure other than other than what you see. Trying to get this to focus a little better. And this is a pretty hard figure to come by, and it's a little pricey as well. So if you guys do come across this and you're a Jason fan, you know, I do recommend you pick him up. Um, but he's a, he's a great figure looking. He's a great looking figure overall. Now, as far as articulation go, because he is really limited to the articulation, but he does stand well in his own. Um, there's no leg articulation. There's no feet articulation whatsoever. And uh, he does rotate at the waist. He does have rotation in the hands, and the head can rotate side to side. No up and down, and he does have a swivel in the arms. This one kind of has one in the mid arm. This one has one in the entire arm. So it's pretty much a statue. So we'll put the blade back in his hand. And there you have it. I mean, that's that's pretty much it to this figure. There's not really 
much to say. I mean, the figure looks great himself. Uh, this is a really, really nice looking figure. I do like the look of this Jason. I just didn't think the movie was all that great. But he's a, he's a figure that's definitely worth uh, checking out, guys. All right, this is Seha Man. This is a short little review. Today we're taking a look at the McFarlane Movie Maniacs. Uh, this is Jason X. Uh, very nice figure, guys. Definitely worth checking out. All right, thanks for watching.